we are going on a little trip today and uh, you can see something at the end of it that's kind of awesome and we're excited about it. But anyway guys, we'll get back to driving and uh, you know, we'll see you again pretty soon. He travels pretty well right now. He likes to sleep. But uh, we're about halfway there. I can't spoil the surprise yet. It's too good. It is too good. <laughs> going. Hey. Well, we finally made it through one big gully washer and lots and lots of road miles, but that's okay too. And uh, we're here, this is Finally Home Farms, and our surprise is, we're getting a guardian dog. This is Lily, and this is Lily's breeder, and, you know, she raises a little bit of everything. They have, I mean, they have a farm, they're like us, a menagerie of things, and, uh, you know, I really appreciate you having the opportunity to get this dog. Oh, I'm glad she's going to a good home, and she's actually going to have some use. Oh, yeah. We just have my dogs on the jobs. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. I feel that way sometimes too. But yeah, so we got Miss Lily here and we'll be keeping in touch with her, I assume, so that we can, you know, if she ever gets a rough collie and I get a wild hair, we might end up with one of them. You never know. <laughs> now, Lily is, she's half rough collie and half Anatolian. Yes. Haven't seen her dad, but, you know, he's an Anatolian, so there's no telling where he went. <laughs> but. Yeah. Well, we're gonna just meander, take old highways back home, and uh, might find us a flea market. You never know. We're pretty fond of flea markets. But uh, let's mosey our way back home and take it easy. interstate with her in the back of the truck. She seems to be really sweet. I think she's going to work out. I'm going to put her in the pen with our bull calf and billy goat and uh, let her get used to the place and used to us. She's already super friendly, which I was really shocked because being half Anatolian, they seem to be kind of territorial, but oh, I think she took her personality more from her mom, which her mom was a really sweet dog.
what I was reading online that they're bred not just to be herding dogs, they're bred to be livestock guardian dogs. That's why they're, I guess, so hairy. Makes them tough. Harder to get a hold of. Hey guys, I was gonna go ahead and show you, seeing how I had a little bit of foamy bloat here. Got him some baking soda and I went ahead and gave him a good dose of selenium vitamin E. And then just in case he inhaled anything, I gave him some oxytetracycline. Which I'm pretty sure he inhaled something because a whole bunch of it come out of his nose. But while I've got him, I'll go ahead and show you our ear tags from Premier One. Lazy C Homestead. It says Lazy C on the inside and the number on the outside. But I've rubbed him. He burped. He's not wheezing anymore. He's actually acting pretty good now. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and put him back in the pen and I'll keep an eye on him. I really... He still doesn't feel great, but I have crammed an awful lot of baking soda down him, so he might have a bellyache for a little while. But he should be doing fine soon. He's already back to his old self, really. He was fighting with me when I had to, was bringing him back out here. And, you know, it's just one of the woes of having livestock is you encounter issues. With 10 goats, you're bound to have one or two that will bloat. I hope not, but, you know, it's always a chance to take. Well guys, it's fixed to start raining again and I'm going to have to keep a good eye on this goat for a little while so I'm going to go ahead and put my camera up and, and uh, go sit in the goat pen in the rain I guess. But anyway, if you haven't already subscribed to us please do so and uh, you know like our video, it helps us out a lot. Follow us on Facebook. We do post a lot of neat things on Facebook so things that aren't on YouTube that is. But anyway, uh, you know. We'll see you guys soon.